Hi friends, welcome to Pharma Guideline. In this video, we will explain the ICH guidelines, their purpose, structure, and key categories, plus how to implement them effectively for global compliance. So let us start. Let us start with what is ICH. ICH stands for the International Council for Harmonization of Technical Requirements for Pharmaceuticals for Human Use. Formed in 1990, the ICH brings together regulatory authorities and the pharmaceutical industry from Europe, the US, Japan, and beyond. Its mission is to harmonize global drug development, ensuring safety, quality, and efficacy, while reducing duplication and unnecessary testing. Why Harmonization Matters Before ICH, each country had different requirements for drug registration. ICH creates one global standard to simplify development, reduce delays, and ensure consistent safety standards worldwide. Major ICH members are FDA, USA EMA, Europe MHLW or PMDA, Japan Health Canada, Swissmedic, TGA, and others. Now let us know the structure of ICH guidelines. The ICH guidelines are categorized into four main areas, each designated by a letter. First is Q for quality. Focuses on pharmaceutical quality systems and GMP. Covers topics like stability, impurity limits, risk management, and continuous manufacturing. Second is S for safety. Deals with toxicological and pharmacological studies. Includes carcinogenicity, genotoxicity, reproductive toxicity, etc. Third is E for efficacy. Relates to clinical studies, trial design, endpoints, GCP, and pharmacovigilance. Fourth is M for multidisciplinary. Covers electronic submissions, terminology, medical dictionaries, MEDIARE, and CTD format. Each guideline is given a code, like ICHQ8E6 or M4. Let's now look at some of the most critical ones. Let us discuss the important ICH guidelines you should know. ICHQ8 Pharmaceutical Development Describes principles of quality by design. Encourages understanding of how formulation and process variables affect product quality. Real use. It helps in designing robust manufacturing processes. ICHQ9 Quality Risk Management. Framework for risk based decision making. Tools like FME, HACSP, and Risk Matrix are promoted. Why it matters. FDA and EMA expect companies to use risk-based approaches to manage change, deviations, and kappa. ICHQ10 Pharmaceutical Quality System Builds on GMP with a life cycle-based approach to quality. Emphasizes continual improvement and company-wide quality responsibility. Important tip, Q10 integrates Q8 and Q9 to create a holistic quality system. ICHQ11 Development and Manufacture of Drug Substances Covers process development, starting materials, and design space for APIs, both chemical and biotech. ICHE6, R2, Good Clinical Practice, GCP Essential for Clinical Trial Conduct Defines sponsor responsibilities, investigator roles, data integrity, and safety. Real example, used in all global clinical trials submitted for FDA EMA review. ICHM4 Common Technical Document Standardize the format for marketing applications, NDA, ANDA, etc. This includes Module 1 – Regional Information Module 2 – Summary Module 3 – Quality Module 4 – Non-Clinical Study Reports Module 5 – Clinical Study Reports Now let us see how ICH guidelines are developed. 
ICH doesn't publish guidelines overnight. There's a well-defined development process. It goes through five steps. One concept paper identifies a need. Two draft guideline created by working groups. Three consultation stage public and stakeholder feedback. Four final adoption after revision and consensus. Five implementation by member countries and regulators. Tip for you here is. Always check the latest step. Step 4 means final. Step 5 means implemented. Why ICH compliance is critical. Why should you care about ICH guidelines? It is required for regulatory approvals in most countries. It helps design compliant, cost-efficient processes. It reduces product recalls, trial delays, and rejections. It supports data integrity global submissions, and life cycle management. Companies failing to follow ICH often face FDA 483s or application rejections. Key takeaways of this video. ICH guidelines ensure global consistency in pharma development. Know the four categories, Q, S, E, and M. Focus on Q8 to Q11 for manufacturing, and E6 for clinical work. Apply risk-based thinking, QBD, and life cycle management to stay compliant. Always refer to the latest version from ICH.org. Thanks for watching this video. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe to Pharma Guideline for more in-depth pharmaceutical content. Join channel membership to watch member-specific videos and courses.